Hi, in this video, I will show you how to use Crow C++ framework for writing web apps and web services. It is a very cool framework and it is very similar to Python's Flask framework. It also uses routing, which is very similar to Flask. Also, it has cool features like built-in JSON support and a template engine called Mustache, which is very similar to Jinja. So let's go and see uh, how we can set up this crow and get a simple app running. So currently I am on its home page crowcpp.org and now I will go to getting started page which has all the instructions for setting up crow on uh, your system. So these are the requirements. Crow requires a C++ compiler with at least C++11 support. It requires ACO development headers. So ACO is basically part of the boost library. ACO means asynchronous IO and for compiling our application with Crow, we will need to download the boost library. Uh, these are four optional things which you may install. So if you want to support HTTP compression, then you will require Zlib. If you want to support HTTPS, then you will need OpenSSL. Uh, if you want to build test examples or maybe even install Crow, then you can use CMake for that. And also you can use Python 3 to build the tests and examples. I will use CMake here to write my own app. Uh, that is to configure my own app. So now I will go to GitHub repository of Crow. So for that, uh, you can see on the top right here, you can see the icon for GitHub. So just click this and open it in a new tab. So this is the uh, official repository of Crow. So from here, I will go to on the right hand side, I, you can see the releases section. So I will go to releases and I will pick the latest release. So version 1.0 plus 5 security patch. And I will copy the link to this tar.gz file. After copying the link, I will go to my terminal here. And as you can see, I have created a folder called crow cpp2. And now inside that I will use wget command to download the tar.gz file. So the tar.gz file has been downloaded. Now I will create a directory called crow. I will go to that directory. And now I will unzip the downloaded archive using this tar xvfz and the path to the uh, rotar directory. So you can see uh, all the files have been unzipped here. So I'll come back uh, since I no longer need this tar dot archive. I will remove this. And now I will go and download the boost library. So I will go to this URL here, boost.org slash user slash download. And here I can find that the current release is version 1.81.0. So now I'll copy the link to the tar.gz file. I will go to my terminal and I'll again use the wget command to download this archive. So this is a big archive and as you can see like the size is 134 MB. So it will take some time. So let's wait for it to complete the download. So the download has now been completed. So now I will extract this archive as well using the tar xvfz boost.tar. So now the boost library has been extracted and all the files are there in the boost uh, directory. So if I now go to boost, I, uh, again I will have to go to boost. So here you can see we have this AVO folder here, which will have all the files which are required by the crow library. So we are done with 
uh, all the downloads here. So now let's go back to our Crow page. And here you can see in the getting started page, there's a link to your first application. So let's go there. And there you can see they have explained how we can write a very simple hello world like program uh, with Crow. So you can see, you can find the source code here. So I'll just copy this file for now. Now I'll go to our directory here and I'll create a main.cpp file. And I will paste it here. So now to compile our application, we will need to use CMake. So I already have CMake installed here. So I can check that using the which command here. So you can see it is installed in user bin. And if I do CMake hyphen hyphen version, I will see the version is 3.22.1. So now we will have to create a cmake list.txt file which will have all the cmake related instructions. So let's do that. So first we'll have to define uh, the version of cmake by which uh, we can compile the cmake list.txt file. So we have to give the minimum version here. So the command is cmake minimum required and we type version here and I will choose 3.15 as the minimum version then we will uh, use the project command to uh, name our project so the name will be crow sample then I will create a variable here called include paths and I will set to the path of the uh, header files of crow and boost so the header files of crow is located in crow slash include and the boost header files are there in boost 1.81.0 then i will add the executable and oops sorry i have a typo here and the source file will be main.cpp here then i will add the include directories to this target crow sample and, and those will be public for now and i will get, uh, pass the include path variable here so for now i think this minimum cmake list.txt should work so now what i will do is i will create a build directory i will go to the build directory and i'll run cmake space dot dot so you can see the cmake command was successful so let's run the make command So you can see now the go sample application has now been built. So let's quickly run that. So you can see our crow server is now running and it is running at 0.0.0.0, .0 and the port number is 18080. And it says here that it is currently using 16 threads. So let me close this application now by pressing Ctrl C. And let's have a look at main.cpp file. So in our main.cpp file, we have included the crow.h header file, which in turn includes many other header files which are required by crow. In our main function, we are creating the app here. And we are defining a simple route. So we are defining this route here. Uh, by default, all the requests are get requests. So basically, this is a get request for this route and we are returning the hello world string uh, uh, in the response uh, and at the last line we are uh, running the application on port 18080 and we are running it in multi-threaded mode so let's make some minor changes uh, to this code 
so we saw that the application was running uh, on IP address 0.0.0.0, .0 by default so let's change that so I will use this bind ADDR function and pass 127.0.0.1 which is usually the local host address let's save this file and I'll again run the make command so now let's run our application again so you can see now the server is running on localhost that is 127.0.0.1 so let's uh, go to our browser and make a get request so I'll go here and I'll type 127.0.0.1 and colon 18080 and you can see we got our message hello world here thank you hope you found this video useful